today we've got a uh, Yaesu FT757GX. Now this is an old radio. And if you look at all this stuff in here, this thing is wired together uh, by wires. And I mean wired together. It's There's little jumpers everywhere. Hundreds of little diodes. One SS 91s, 93s, 92s, just they're all over the place. Um, and that's the first thing you have to replace in these. I have done this. This this is my own personal radio here. And uh, I got this off of eBay really cheap because it didn't work. Well, it really didn't work. I, I spent hours trying to fix this thing, and I finally got it working. Except it's not on frequency, on transmit. Um, it it's off by about well a bunch like 500 600 hertz which on lower sideband or whatever is is quite a bit and its problem is on lower sideband it's off on regular sideband it's on so what we got here is we'll see if we can take a look at it uh, if we look at JP208, which is what you're supposed to look at, on lower sideband, we've got 8.21327, sort of, that's low resolution because I just wanted to, wanted to update quickly, and according to the manual, we're supposed to have 8.213400. We're off by a bit. So, how do we fix that? Well, I've adjusted what I can, um, and it's just not not good enough. It won't go far enough. The what I'm supposed to adjust is right here. You really can't see that. Let's see if I can. See if I could bring this in a little bit. There we go. Supposed to adjust right here, this little trimmer, and on lower sideband, and get the 8.21340. Well, it won't go far enough. So, the upper side band which is over here on this little trimmer here really can't see it but it's right there um, it'll go it's fine it'll do what it's supposed to at 8.2166 and CW which is right here it'll do 8.2159 so I already checked the crystal it's off a little bit there's enough, it makes up enough in here on the upper sideband to make up for it. But it, I don't have enough play in this 40 picofarad capacitor trimmer cap here. So what we're going to do, since I don't have another crystal for this that's any better, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, replace it. Well, no, not replace it. We can't replace it. We don't have anything to replace it with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some capacitance to this little... There's a little cap here which you really can't see from this position, but it's right here. I'm going to replace that 33 picofarad with a 47 and see if we can drag this thing in. So let's... Uh, I'll cut the camera and we'll <laughs> we'll come back when I get this board out of here. It's 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 not all that easy. I mean, it's not terribly difficult, but you got to take uh, got to take this off. This 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 that helps the power supply, eight volt power supply. It's over here and unscrew it, kind of slide it forward and lift it out and try to get to the bottom. So when I get the thing taken out here, we'll turn the camera back on. 
Okay, well, I got the board open. Got it out of here. And we'll see if we can bring this in a little bit. So, eh, let's see. This area right in here is what we're, we're looking at. This is, let's see, where is it? This is the crystal right here. This is that little capacitor. This is the trimmer cap. I could put in a bigger trimmer cap, but I don't have one. And this is a 33 picofarad capacitor. Um, it's not. I'm sure the capacitor is probably fine. The problem is I don't have another crystal. So this is called dragging a crystal back onto frequency. <laughs> It is not the recommended way of doing this. The recommended way is to go out and get yourself a new crystal. Well, if you've read recently, new crystals are going to be hard to get. All right, there's my little cap. Yeah, you can't focus it on that very well. There it is right there, little cap, little 33 picofarad. And we're going to change it for hmm this little 47 picofarad cap so let's stick this in here is make the leads as short as possible now this is only eight megahertz so it's not that big of a deal however you just want to do it right and make it the leads as short as possible I need to put on my geek glasses here That's fair. Okay. Oh, there we go. Where'd you go? Okay. Oh, you're over here. All right. Now we got to put this thing back in. I didn't show you taking it out because that's actually harder. But we're gonna put it back in. You gotta make sure that all your wires over here. Let's zoom back out so you can sort of see what's going on. I'm using a remote for my uh, camera here, and it's not the most responsive thing in the world. I this camera. I guess it's okay. I mean, I, I like it, but it's not the best camera in the world. But it had to do double duty. I couldn't, I could not justify buying a camera for nothing but videos. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Got to push the little buttons in in the back to get it. So what is everything's so tight in here? Although there's seven miles of wire. Oh, I see it. There it is. Okay. Everything's all wrapped around everything else. And some of it doesn't really like.
being put back in. Uh, there we go. Got to get these guys out of the way. Make sure that's out of the way. Make sure all this is out of the way. Pick it all up. Light it all up. And slide it, slide it back where it goes. All right. And then we put one in the center. Not so much for grounding because everything's grounded to death in this thing. But for holding it solid. Okay. This is 19. This goes here. When you do this, you got to be careful. You put all of the plugs back in the right spots. They're not actually marked. And the plugs aren't numbered the same as the jacks, of course. So you got to go look it up on the schematic. That's the only place. It doesn't give you a layout anywhere as to where everything goes as far as the plugs are, except on the schematics. And it does number them there, thank goodness. All right. Voltage regulator. No, nope. missed a pin. Go. Ta-da! Voltage regulator. Everybody plugged in. This one back here. Okay. Split view again. All right. Well, hopefully this one works. Okay. So we're all plugged in. Power's on. Everything's good. Now, let us see frequency. J2008, which is right there. So I got 8.2135. Having to split up cameras here. Okay, so I've got. 8.2135. Now let's see if we could drag that back on to frequency here. Lower side band. Now 8.2135. Ah, oh, that's what I want. 8.213 down. Whoops. Oh man, is that touchy? Wonder if they make 10 turn capacitors. Well, I know they do. But they're generally pretty big. Come on, you can do it. All right, so here we go. Eight point two one three four zero. Let's try upper side band and adjust this one here. Eight point two one six six zero. Oh, too much. Dang. You got to hold your tongue in exactly the right spot here. All right, so now we've got. On upper side band six six zero and let's go for CW and CW we want a 
Oh, that turns real easy. 8.21590. A little more. And on. Oops. Shorted it out. That's as close as it's going to get. Okay. Oh, let's go back and make sure that what we did didn't affect the other ones. Lower sideband. It might have. Uh, 395. So, yeah, it, it's just a tiny little bit. Oh, boy. Breathe on them. So all you got to do. Okay, there we go. Upper side man. A little bit more. Get it back up to 8.2166. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Come on. There's 8.2166. Back to lower side band. 8.213980 All right, we've got it. Now, all we got to do is give it a little bit of power. Let's see, take the frequency counter here. <laughs> Put on the auxiliary pickup lead, auxiliary pickup lead, <laughs> and uh, stuff it in next to the, there we go, stuff it in next to there, give me, put this thing on AM, and a little bit of power, yeah, it's about 10 watts, and make sure I'm on 14.000, which I am. And I have 13.99999. Okay. There we go. We're back on frequency. Let's, uh, yep, same thing. It's good. And on FM, cut the power down. Okay, so we've done it. We have the frequencies that we need. Now, for the rest of the alignment, but that'll be another video. Hope you enjoyed it. That's how you can make a bad capacitor work, or bad uh, crystal work. Is it the real way to do this? No, but... It's what I had to do to make this thing work, but at least now when I keyed out, I know I'm on the right frequency. Hope you enjoyed the little one, little, uh, little video here. And if you like it, don't forget to like it. And if not, okay. Uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you later.